Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Judy Tapper. I am the Gold Star Mother of United States Navy SEAL David M. Tapper. Today's a very emotional day for me. We're at 89th Street in Townsend's Inlet. And not only me, but my children spend every summer here in Townsend's Inlet, a very special place. My grandparents built the house, and um, the house had, was in our family from the 30s till the 90s. Uh, we no longer own the property. That's been The house has been knocked down, and there's a big three-story home there now. But today, they're naming 89th Street after David, as is very special for us and our family. We're honored that this is happening. And can you just tell us a little bit about David and the Navy SEALs, his time? David, from the time he was 14 years old, he wanted to become a Navy SEAL. He used to say, Mom, I'm part fish. I have uh, water. I have, <laughs> I have sand and sea water in my veins, he used to say all the time. But so for four years after we became certified as a scuba divers, David did enlist in the, to the Navy as a senior. And uh, he left for the Navy in November of 1989. And he served until 2003. He was on his third tour of duty. He first was with in Afghanistan after 9-11, then Iraq, then Afghanistan again. He was only home for six weeks after his second tour when he was sent back. Never understood why he had to go back so, so soon, but he said, Mom, they need us over there. And then we got the tragic news on August the 20th, 2003, that David had been killed in a I, um, a mission that they were on, on the Pakistani border. Okay, thank, thank you, Judy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Mayor. Beautiful day in Seattle, correct? Correct. Hey. Hey. Every day. Every yes, day. as I predicted, there will be no rain until uh, maybe December. <laughs> Thank you for taking time to join with us today as we dedicate 89th Street in memory of Petty Officer David M. Tapper. At this time, I'll call up um, Father Jim to say a few words of benediction. But I was told no rosaries, and I'm not a Baptist. I'm an Air Force chaplain, Desert Storm. I was in during Vietnam, but not in. Uh, and, I, and we're giving God's blessings today for a special occasion. Whatever faith let us bow our heads, Lord God in heaven, we ask special blessings on every one of us here with a living, with special memory and blessings on your servant David, who served this country, his God, and the world to make it free. We ask blessings on the repose of his soul I'm an Eastern Catholic. We sing in the Eastern Catholic Church, Vichnaya Yemu Hamyat. David is not with us physically, but he is with us always until the end of time. Vichnaya Yemu Hamyat means unto blessed memory. May you be blessed, David, your mommy here, and each of us. We ask this in God's holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I'd like to acknowledge and introduce and bring up to be with us here, Gold Star Mother, Judy Tapper. Also want to acknowledge Joe Griffies, uh, the host. Yes, go ahead. Joe, come on up here. Joe, is, as we know, is the host of the Welcome Home Show every Saturday. And uh, Joe is a a, a major supporter of veterans, and he, he is a great advocate for all veteran issues. So, once again, for Joe Griffiths, please. And uh, Joe was the driving force behind naming of this 
street and in honor of David. He stayed honest and stayed honest and you know after two times listening to Joe we do things. So I just want you to another round of applause for Joe Griffiths please. Well, it's my pleasure to be here today as we dedicate 89th Street in the memory of Petty Officer David M. Tapper of the United States Navy. Before we go any further, I would like to express my thanks and best wishes to the members of the Tapper family, some who you have met and who are here with us today. So thank you once again to the Tapper family. Thank you very, very much. Only those who belong to the Gold Star families can fully understand what it feels like to learn about a loved one dying in battle. And for that, and for so much more, our Gold Star families deserve our unending gratitude. For those who are not aware, David M. Tapper was a son, a brother, a husband, and a father. He was also an athlete, and a patriot. And after he graduated from Edgewood High School, he enlisted in the United States Navy. And then ultimately became a member of Navy's Sea Air and Land Forces, which most people t typically refer to as Navy SEALs. How proud his family must have been on the day David received his Navy SEAL. Trident pen after completing special forces training in San Diego. And how strong Officer Tapper must have been to live by the Navy's SEALs motto, the only easy day was yesterday. From all reports, during his 13 years as a Navy SEAL, David served his country honorably. Right up until the day he was mortally wounded while serving in Afghanistan, he was only 32 years old when he died in 2003. Through the years, you probably heard me say more than once that in Seal City, we just don't honor our veterans on Veterans Day. We honor them every day. If I could have one wish today, it would be that David Tapper was here with us as a living veteran. So we could shake his hand, pat him on the back, and maybe even buy him a beer as a way to say thank you for your service. Sadly, we cannot do that. We can, however, thank him by making his name synonymous with 89th Street here in Sea Isle City. So from this day forward, as countless people pass through this intersection, they will know that this is a special place because it is where an American hero once lived and loved. Thank you, David. May God bless you all. When David died in Afghanistan, he was wounded pretty bad. He died that day of his wounds. But he continued to give support to his men that were pinned down. Knowing David, he probably ran out of ammo. He waited to die until he ran out of ammo. The rest of his unit was pretty much saved. Their mission was complete. David was brought home to be buried in Akko. His mom, Judy, and her friend, Bill. His wife, Tracy. died Ken, his sisters, Judy, Ruth, Brenda, Diana. Joyce is the third sister born, but she died shortly in life. I think that's all God, part of God's plan. <clears throat> David gave up so much family on earth for us that he wanted somebody to be there to meet him. David never met his sister until he went to heaven that day. So, Judy, have comfort that he's not alone. If we're ever fortunate enough someday to get to heaven and you want to find God, 
Look for two people from Sea Island. Look for Michael Crescent at the streets named after 46 and Landis, Philadelphia, and Cape May County's only Medal of Honor recipient, and David M. Tapper. Because I believe the day David and Michael got to heaven, St. Peter went to God and said, what do you want me to do with these two guys? And God turned around and said, Pete, let them live near me, let them guard my throne. They guarded towns in Italy. They guarded Sea Isle. They guarded Cape May County. They guarded the state of New Jersey. They guarded the United States. Let them guard my throne. Who was David Tapper? David Tapper on 89th Street, a few houses from the beach. At an early, early age, he was put down here, I believe, as a baby, as an infant. But as an early age, when he made it to the beach and he could talk, he said to his mother, you know, I don't have blood in my veins. I got salt water and sand. <laughs> David, at the age of 17, he had to wait a few months till November when school went out so he could join, be old enough to join the Navy. Always wanted to be a Navy SEAL. David didn't have to go to bud school to learn the toughest school in the world to go. Around 100 Navy vets try out for bud school, maybe eight or nine make it. After the grueling training in the sand and the water and swimming tanks and all kind of gear running through jungles, they only take the best of the best. David always wanted to join the Navy and be a SEAL. But David learned something that he knew before he got to Bud School, where they teach SEALs. David learned how to steal. See, when you go to the Bud School and you go on a mission, whether it's in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, we have a Navy SEAL here that served in Vietnam with us. David learned how to steal, because when you're a SEAL, you gotta learn how to break into things. You gotta learn how to enter through roofs, through floors, through windows, through doors, through walls. You have to nail a hot wire, a truck, a jeep, a helicopter, a boat. A deuce and a half, because you got to do your mission to find the easiest way to get your men home to safety. David's training, digging holes in the sand at four, five, six, ten years old, was his beginning of training. David found out in 1990 that his parents and grandparents had bought the home on, 90, on 89th Street were selling the home. And I would imagine it was being sold because Judy had three sisters, David was the youngest of six. The other sisters had kids, and the house was small. So when Judy tells David, as he's waiting for his 18th birthday to leave for the SEALs that day, or leave for the Navy, David was really pissed. And he was angry. And he was upset. And David's training on these beaches of swimming in the ocean, digging holes as a young kid, gave him the idea that he was going to have part of 89th Street in his home when he came home. So David went on his first SEAL mission of stealing something. He came up to the corner of 89th Street and he sold the, stole the sign. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. The sign is now in the family room in Atco. So David M. Tapper, in 1990, you lost the home. In 2022, you own a street. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. David M. Tapper, when this sign is unveiled, David M. Tapper, SEAL Team 6, Iraq, Afghanistan. Even though the war is over, everyone that goes by will know that people sacrificed their life to make this happen. And when this sign is unveiled shortly by the mayor and the Tapper family, the sign does not start here and end up on Pleasure Avenue. The sign will go across Landis, down 89th Street, now David and Tapper Way, across Pleasure, up the path to the beach, across the sand, across the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And there's a sign over on both sides of the ocean stated, not on my watch. David kept the bad guys over there so we can enjoy today the freedom. Not one person here today saw a plane dropping bombs on our city. They didn't pass a tank coming up the park where 55 on Garden State Expressway. And I don't hear of any ships 
lobbing shells while 50,000 people are enjoying Townsend Gym with the CLL. I just want to add one other short thing about David M. Topper. When David's mission to Iraq, when the war first broke out, there was a young lady, 19 years old, Jessica Lynch. She was in a convoy in one of the most dangerous parts of the world. They were blown up, they were ambushed by the Taliban, Al Qaeda, uh, the terrorists, whatever you want to call them. Jessica Lynch, deuce and a half, she was a shotgun. She drove next to the driver. The driver got killed. 14 other veterans were killed that night. Jessica was blown up and 50 feet away from the truck. Her left femur bone was broke. Her right ankle was crushed where her toes faced backwards. She had five broken ribs, four broken vertebrae. The Taliban raped her. They beat her. All this pain, she would only give her name, rank, and service number. Alert went out all over the world that an American, not an American POW, a man, an American POW woman. Nobody messes with an American POW woman. A veteran. And they went on a hunt for her. And David and Tapper got the assignment to lead SEAL Team 6, and he found her in a basement of a building. Jessica was laying on a cot after surgery on her femur bone. They put a man's rod in her left femur. She was afraid of making a noise. She heard noise outside. She heard helicopters. She heard trucks. She heard vehicles. She heard gunfire. She was afraid of making a noise because she didn't know if they were good guys or the bad guys. The only thing she had over the past 20 days was five or six tablespoons of orange juice for nourishment. She laid there in and out of a coma, in and out of shock, hoping to die. And in comes this guy with a flashlight into a room and he shines at the corner. And he notices somebody laying in a cot in the corner of the basement of a building. And he walks over. Now you gotta remember, she's not wearing a uniform that says Lynch on it. She's in some whatever guard they gave her. And he said, are you Private Lynch? And she didn't respond. He said, if you're Jessica, squeeze my hand. And she was able to make movement with her hand. With that, David rips the American flag off the shoulder that's Velcroed on his uniform, and he sticks it in the palm of Jessica's hand and says, Jessica, take me home. When they're leaving the room, there's SEALs, there's Rangers, special ops in the room. David announces, we all die to get her home safe. Jessica Lynch is now well and alive, 30 surgeries later. She's a school teacher. Just a great, great lady. David M. Topper, like Joe Crescent, like all the veterans. Can I get a show of hands of all the veterans that are here? They all sign the first day in the military. They sign a pledge to die for every one of us. So in closing, the greatest gift David gave us at the cost to his family, to Judy, to Ruth, to Joyce, to Brenda, to Diana, to his sons Raymond and his son Jarrett, to Vanessa and Tala. The gift he gave us was when we woke up this morning, we had the freedom to come here. We had the freedom to go to church, to go to an acting, to go to a shop room, go to the beach play basketball, ride a bike, rollerblade, get in a car, visit a friend. That freedom is only provided by the people that raised their hands in this crowd. <laughs> On behalf of the city of Seattle City, it is my honor and pleasure to dedicate 89th Street David M. Tapper in honor of an American hero.
We don't get it. Matt will get it. Where's my grandson's going to go? No, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it off.